Hi everyone, I'm Bailey, Sheer Sheer. Um, welcome to License to Grill. I have two friends with me who are going to be playing today. Hi, I'm Tawana, she, her. Hi, I'm Matt, he, him. License to Grill is a fun grilling game for three to five players that runs about 30 minutes each. I've got the game already set up, so we're going to run through the components. First, we have the grill with the knobs. Then in our cooler, we have the meats and the vegetables. We have our food tiles and we have our tablecloth set to three players because that's how many people are in our game. We have scoring tokens and one and five. You start with three of each type of recipe. And then finally, each player gets their own player board for preparing and resting. Okay, since I don't have any recipes, first thing I'm gonna do is grab a recipe. So I'm gonna grab the trout. I'm gonna get the polyomino for it and place it in the prepare section. It's huge. I'm gonna grab a tracker cube, put it in the cooler. And since I've only got one turn, I think I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the grill. I'm gonna put it right there. And those are my two actions. And whenever a card is removed, it immediately gets replaced. So Twana, it is your turn. Okay, so since this is my first turn and I don't have anything, I am going to grab sliders Place my slider recipe here. I'm gonna grab sliders from here. Put it in my prepare mat. Grab a cube. Place my cube. Um, and then I have one more action. Um, let's see. Can I move my cube over? No. I can't move my cube over. You can you can season it. You can grab. Oh, I can't it. season it. Okay. Well, I am going to season my slider. So I'm going to grab another cube and put it on the block for season. And that's all of my actions. So looking at the board right now, I'm I like to start a turn getting multiple things out of the fridge at the same time. So I'm going to start by grabbing. Steak. I'm going to prepare some steak. Put it in my prepare side of that. And then put this cube here. But since I have another action, I'm going to I like to prepare multiple things to get multiple things going. So I'm also going to prepare some flatbread. See if I have some room. Haha, -ha, I do have room. Excellent. So luckily I have room here, so I'm able to prepare both of them at the same time. Uh, and, aha, uh -huh, you don't want to forget the cube up here. You'll see it's good to prepare flatbread at the same time as doing something else, because if I were to throw it right on the right on the grill right now, then I would have some minus points. So flat flat flatbread likes to just stay there for a little bit, so that's why I'm doing that one. That'll be my turn. Uh, so now that it's the start of the next turn, I am going to increase by one because the board is only on one flame. Then, for my actions, I think I am going to sauce my fish. And then I am going to prepare bacon-wrapped asparagus. Here. And those are my two actions. Oh, I need the bacon wrap spare. They need to be prepared. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, so for my last turn, I prepared my sliders and I seasoned my sliders. So now I want to put them on the grill. So I'm going to place my sliders um, on this edge of the grill, touching the trout. And I am also, I need to grab a cube. I can't forget to grab the cube. Place that on the grill. And for my next action, I want to sauce my sliders. So I'm gonna grab another cube and place it there. And that's the end of my turn. Wow, 
Well, it's the beginning of my turn, my second turn, so I always want to advance my cubes. It's one of the easiest things to forget. Make sure that you advance your cubes at the beginning of the turn. Cool. So now, for my actions, I'm going to uh, put my flatbread, now that it's off the minus one point for the preparation track, I'm going to put it on to the veggie side of the board making sure that I'm touching an edge when I do so. And let's take a look. Taking a look back at my flatbread uh, board, I think I'm gonna increase, since I put something onto this side of the grill, I'm allowed to increase the heat if I'd like to. So I'm gonna increase the heat of the veggie side of the grill by one tick. For my second action, uh, I still got a little bit of time for my steak, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a nice seasoning. And there we go. That's my second turn. Now at the start of my next turn, I am going to advance my cube before I forget, as it is very easy to do, as Matt said. And then I'm going to take my bacon wrapped asparagus and place it on the grill. So I'm gonna put my tracker there. I'm not gonna worry about spicing it for right now. I also need to increase my trout by one as well. And place one. I think I'll go ahead and sauce these for my next turn. And that's the end of my turn. Okay, so for my next turn, since the knob is on two flames, I am going to scoot my cube to two. And I'm not ready yet to take my sliders off, so instead I'm going to pick another recipe. And I'm kind of gonna base my recipe on what room I have here. So I'm gonna look in the corner to see which one I wanna do. And I think I'm gonna go with the hamburger. All right, I have my hamburger. I'm gonna place it on my prepare mat. I'm gonna grab a cube, place my cube, and I also have an option to season my hamburger. So I'm gonna grab another cube and place it on the seasoned square. And that's the end of my turn. Cool, so now it's my turn, so it's time to advance my cubes. I just realized that I didn't actually put on a cube last turn uh, for the flatbread that I put on the grill. Uh, so whoops, that's okay. Uh, so I'll do two things. One, because it's no longer preparing, I'll move it up here just for a little mental note for me to remember. And then I'll remember, I should have done this last turn. Whoops, that's okay. This cube goes on there because that flatbread went on the grill last turn. But that means that now, since it's the beginning of my turn, I get to advance the flatbread for cooking. So let me go check, check on that. Looks like it's advancing two. So one, two, up there. And then I also advance my steak since it's been sitting out in that pan for a little bit. It has seasoning on it, but if I let it sit for any longer, you can see that it'll end up needing to go in the trash can. So I think, I think for my first turn, I will have to put my steak onto the grill. Ah, so it looks like there's not room down here I'm gonna start running into polyaminos up there. I'm gonna run into the edges up there. See if I can do it anywhere down. No, I'm gonna run into anything. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna put it right on to the upper rack of the grill. Now, uh, it'll mean that I'll have to check. Uh, it won't cook as fast, but at least I'll be able to get it on the grill at all. So that's good to know. So, as usual with the upper rack, I have to put it somewhere where it's touching an edge. And, well, since it's on the upper rack for me, I wanted to grill as fast as I can. So the upper rack grills at these temperatures. So I'll do it, move it up to the top one. Yeah. Let's see, and for my second action, you know what, I think I like my flatbread uh, where it's at uh, in terms of how much it's cooked. So since I just moved my grill, oh, I almost did the same thing with the steak. So before I move on to the flatbread, I put the steak on there. Let me not, not forget the cube this time. Excellent, excellent. 
moved above the board just for my brain, so I remember it's not preparing anymore. Then I'll go over here and say, oh yeah, this flatbread, I think I want to take it off the grill for my second action. So just for my brain, I'll move the card over there, and then I'll take off that flatbread. Make sure I have room on the resting plate for it. Nothing else on there, so I got room. This got moved when I did it over. It got moved up to, whoops. Cool. So I put on the steak, took off the flatbread. Oh, and because I just took the flatbread on, put it onto the resting plate from the grill, I don't want to forget to take one of these cubes and put it on the resting track at the end of my turn. So, since Matt's put me in a little bit of a precarious situation, I am going to have to advance my trout one, two, three, so now it is only worth one. The asparagus, at least, one, two, three, is cooked perfectly. So for my next action, So I am going to place the trout and the bacon wrapped asparagus, the same action for both of them, moving them from the grill to the resting area. And then I am going to place my tracker cube on the resting spot. And that is the end of my turn. Okay, so for this turn, um, I have to move my slider cube three. Um, one, two, three only get one point for that and now I'm ready to take my sliders off the grill take my slider off the grill place it on the rest mat grab a cube place my cube on the resting option so that's one action and then my next action I am ready to put my hamburger on the grill Grab a cube, place it there, and place my hamburger on the grill. Okay, so I actually forgot to move this up one space when I took my hamburger and placed it on the grill, but it's on the grill now, and I made sure that I moved the cube up one. It's the beginning of my turn, so I want to advance any cubes I need to advance before I, uh, check out what actions I want to do. So I'm going to advance my resting track one, since I have the flatbread resting. And I want to advance my cooking track on the steak. Let's see. So the temperature of the steak uh, on the steak side of the grill, on the meat side of the grill, is for the base grill, it's at three, which means for the upper rack where my steak is, it's at two. That means I advance this cooking track to one, two. Now I'm ready to take my actions. Let's see. So first action, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to sauce my steak. Since it's on the grill, I can sauce my steak. So I'm just gonna take a cube and put it into that sauce square right there. And then since it's so well cooked, and since I got some time for the flatbread to rest, it won't get me any fewer points. I'm gonna take the steak off the grill for my second action, I think. So take the steak off. Come over, look at my resting track. Uh-oh, uh-oh, do I have room to do that? Hold on. Oh yes, luckily I do. Luckily I can rest them together. And we'll just imagine there's some nice wax paper in, in there between the flatbread and the steak that's keeping the flatbread for the vegetarians and the steak for the meat eaters. There it is. Um, and of course, as always, since I just moved something from the grill to my resting area, I don't want to forget to put a cube on my resting track. Oh, and since I moved my steak over to my resting area at the, at the end of this turn, I'm just gonna, for my brain, move that over here just so I remember these are the recipes that are resting. Okay, so I got my bacon wrapped asparagus and my trout both on the resting area. I can now score them, and I will score them one at a time so that way we don't lose track of things. First, I'm going to score my trout by putting it on the tablecloth. So let's go over here. Now on the tablecloth, if I cover one of these icons, that means I get to do a free action. 
So I am going to make sure to cover the cooler because now I can select an extra recipe. So I'm gonna remove the cubes just to look at how many points it is. That's one plus one for saucing. So I have scored two points. Did I have any in the negatives? No, I did not. So I earned two total points. Matt, would you be a deer and hand me two tabs? Thank you. Trout is now scored for two points. Now, for my second action, I'm going to score bacon wrapped asparagus. Do the same thing, take it over to this side of the table, get it on the tablecloth, and I am going to cover this spice because. I'll explain why in a second. First, I want to do my bacon wrapped asparagus. I've got three points, four points, none there. Let me grab for you. Four tokens. Bacon wrapped asparagus is scored for four tokens. Now my turn is not finished because I got to do a free recipe and a free spice from placing mine on the tablecloth. So I'm going to grab the chicken wings because it is my free recipe. Place that there. Let me get the chicken wings. Place it in my prepare track. Now I also got a free spice, which means I get to spice my chicken wings for free. And that's the end of my turn. Okay, so for this turn, I realized when I took my sliders off the grill my last turn, I probably should have added to the tablecloth because I see now with this turn, I have to move up one, which means I am minusing two points from my score, but it's okay. So this turn, I am going to move my cube up, take my sliders and place them on the tablecloth. So now I am gonna place my sliders and I am actually gonna place the sliders on a free saucing icon because I think that's gonna help me with my hamburgers. Okay, so now that I've placed my sliders, I am now ready to score. So I have one point, two, three, minus two is one point flip that over. Thank you for my one point. <laughs> but now for my next action, I am going to advance my cube. Um, what is the knob on? The knob is on three, so I'm going to advance my cube three. And now when I place my sliders, I got a free action to sauce. So I'm going to use that now and add my sauce here. And since that was a free action, I am actually going to remove my hamburger and put it on the resting mat. And I'm going to grab a cube and place it there. And that's the end of my turn. So now for this turn, both of my recipes are currently resting. So I'm going to make sure to remember at the beginning of this turn, advance that cube for the steak and advance this cube. Or, oops, just one, just for the flatbread, just for that resting. Uh, I can tell that's good for the steak. As we know, it's good to rest steak, but I don't want to leave the flatbread there for any longer. So I'm going to try to get both of these things, which are resting, onto the tablecloth. Let's see what I can do. I'm going to take the flatbread first. Let's see what I can get with this flatbread. I'm going to put this flatbread on this free prepare a recipe action, so I'll bank that one for later. So let me go score my flatbread. So my flatbread score will be nothing for the preparation track, three for the cooking track, and nothing for the resting track. So together that is three points. Awesome. Next, I'm gonna do the same thing with my steak. So I'm gonna use my second official action of the turn to take the steak and put it onto 
the tablecloth. So I'm going to put my steak right over this free season. There it is. So before I do some of my free actions that I just grabbed from the tablecloth, let me score this steak. So I have oh, one point from up here in the preparation and season, plus four for the cook, plus one for the sauce, plus zero. So in total that is six points, four, five, six, awesome. I got my six points there. So normally that would have been both of my actions for this turn, but since I snagged two of those free actions, a free preparation action and a free season action, let me go see if I can make use of those. Well, what do you know? Looks like something right here can be prepared and then seasoned right away. So I got my pineapple right here. I'm going to put that onto my preparation board. I'm not going to forget to add a cube to my preparation track. So that was one free action, but remember I got that other free action, so I'm also going to take that and season the pineapple. So I got my two regular actions, scoring both of those, and my two free actions, getting the pineapple and seasoning the pineapple. I have all my cubes in the right places. It's over there. So that's my turn. So Eagle Eye viewers might notice that I changed out my tabs. I had a four and a two, but I changed it out for a five and a one, so that way I still have six. Now, for my beginning of my turn, I'm gonna take my chicken wings and immediately place them on the grill. Then I'm gonna turn it down to two, since I placed something on the grill. I'll get my tracker cube for this. And for my second action, I'm gonna sauce them wings, baby. Can't have wings without sauce. Uh, but those are my two actions and that's my turn. And at the beginning of my turn, I should have advanced the preparation track, but now I have. So for my turn, I am going to advance my rescue up, which when I score, I will get a minus one point. And I am actually ready to score. I am gonna place my hamburger onto the tablecloth. Let's see, what free action do I want for this? Let's do free recipe action. Yeah, free recipe. Okay, so now I can score and I know that I have three plus one, four, add one, five, but minus one, four. So I scored four for my hamburger. Do you mind passing me four tabs, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So now for my next action, I have a free action, which is uh, I'm going to pick a recipe. Let's do hot dog. Hot dog here. I'm gonna put these off to the side since I already scored with them. Doing hot dog, I'm gonna place the hot dog in my on my prepare mat. Grab a cube, one cube. Place it there, and that was a free action and I am now going to grab another recipe and I will actually do meatballs this time. I'm going to grab a cube for my meatballs and actually I need to grab the meatballs from the pile here and place that on my prepared mat. And I believe that that is the end of my turn. So now it's my turn. So before I do anything else, I'm gonna advance my spoil tracker. One. 
And before that pineapple gets any more spoiled, I'm going to put it on the grill. I'm happy to put it right down here. I think I'll turn up that burner just for fun. Since I did just put it onto the grill, I'll take a cube and put it onto that grill tracker. And before I end my turn, I'm going to, uh, now that I've taken a look at my grill tracker at all, actually not turn up the grill by one, because if I did that, I would be grilled in three spaces. I'll go past the prime spot of getting points for my pineapple. So that's where it had been set, and it's my option whether I get to turn it up or not at all. And since I didn't end my turn, and the table's feeling very congenial towards me, we guess they're not uh, holding me to doing that since I didn't end my turn. I'm leaving it where it was set at. I think for my second action of the turn, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and sauce that pineapple. Maybe a nice glaze. Alrighty, and since I put that on just for my brain so I remember, I'll put that up here. And those are both my actions for this turn. So for my turn, first, I'm on two, so I'm going to advance the grill tracker one, two for these chicken wings. Then, I think for my first action, I'm going to sauce them again. Boop. Now, for my second action, I'm going to prepare another recipe. I am going to get chicken pot pie. Now, chicken pot pie, as you can see, is vegetarian or meat, which means I can place it on either or both. Chicken pot pie over here, put it in the prepare area, and put my spoil tracker on it. That's it for my turn. Alright, for my turn I am going to start off by advancing my spoil trackers on my hot dog and I'm going to do it on my meatballs. And with my meatballs I am going to use one action to season my meatballs. And then for my second action, I'm going to take my hot dogs and place them on the grill. I'm going to grab a cube and place it on the grill tracker. And that's it for my turn. Now for my turn, first I'm going to advance the grill tracker. One, two, because the grill's at two spaces. See, if I had done what I wanted to do last turn without checking, I would have advanced at three, and that would be no good. That would set me up for a bad time. So I'm advancing at two, since I did, in fact, leave it at grill level two. Uh, so for my first action, I'm gonna take it off the grill. It looks good to me. I'm going to put it in this rest area. I'm going to add a cube to the resting tracker. And before that gets any further, I'm going to take my last turn, uh, rather I'm going to take my, yeah, my, my second action and put that onto the tablecloth as well. I want to see if I can grab a free action that I could use, but it doesn't look like there's any prepare a new recipe actions out, so I won't be able to take advantage of the free actions, unfortunately, since I have nothing else to do, uh, no other active recipes. But what I can do in this moment is just try to block someone else from getting a free action. That's easy. So let me see if I can do that. I'll block that free action. And now it's time to score my pineapple. So that is one for that top track, two, three, and zero. So that's in total. One, two, three, four. Flip that over. Get four points on top of that. And that's the end of my turn. So first I'm going to advance my spoil tracker for the chicken pot pie. 
Then I'm going to advance my grilled tracker for the chicken wings by one, two. I actually, those are my trackers all taken care of. I think for my action, I'm just going to immediately take the chicken wings, put them on the rest tracker, or the rest area, then place a rest cube, but I'm going to just immediately score them. So, I am going to place it on a right here, right here to get this free grill placement. So now I'm going to score my chicken wings before I take any of my other actions. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, none here. So these chicken wings score six. Thank you so much, Matt. Okay. So since I have a free grill placement action, I'm going to take the chicken pot pie and I'm going to place it right here because it can go on either the meat or the veggie side. It can kind of straddle both, so that's where I'm going to leave it. And those were my two actions. That was my free action, so that ends my turn. Oh, I need a grill tracker. Can't forget the grill tracker. Now that's my turn. Okay, so for my turn, um, I am going to advance my hot dogs. Uh, the grill right now is on two, so I'm going to advance the grill, my cube, up to two. And I think I am ready to actually take my hot dogs off of the grill. So take hot dogs off, put them on my resting mat, take a cube, and place that there for my one action. And now for my meatballs, since they are on the prepare mat, I am going to scoop my cube over one and place my meatballs on the grill. And take a cube and place it on my mat. And that is the end of my turn. So for this turn, I have three recipes that are already scored, but no other recipes going. And I know by just looking at my other fellow players, they're gonna be triggering the end game by finishing their fourth recipes real soon. So I'm looking to try to put something on the grill that I can pretty easily take off. So let's see if I can find something. I got nothing to advance, so my first action is gonna be finding something to prepare. Look at these mackerel. This will do nicely. So I'm gonna put my mackerel down here, make sure that I don't forget to put on a cube for my preparation and put it in that prep area. But if you'll notice, if I leave this mackerel for any amount of time, just like in real life, you don't wanna leave fish sitting out. So I'm gonna put this right on the grill. I'm gonna put it right there on the grill, and this time, I'm gonna turn up the heat, and I mean it this time. So just for me and my brain, I'm gonna move it up here since I did just put it onto the grill. I'm gonna add that tracker for the grill track. And that's the second action of my turn. All right, so that's the start of my turn. I'm gonna check, and since it is straddling both, I'm going to take the higher of the two, and it's going three, one, two, three, it's right at three points, and I'm going to take it off the grill. I don't have any actions I can take advantage of because that's my last recipe. I'm just going to cover this one to keep them from having an extra grill. Um, and I can take a second action, but since there's no point in preparing another recipe because this is the fourth recipe to be scored, so that's the end of the game, which means I get three more points. Matthew, please, okay, three more. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So now everyone else gets one more turn, and that's the end of the game. So for my final turn, um, Let's concentrate on the hot dog first. 
going to move my resting cube up one and I am going to place my hot dog on the tablecloth. Um, let's see. I guess it really doesn't matter where I put it since it's my last turn. It's not going to benefit anything for me. So since I placed my hot dog, it's time for me to score for the hot dog. And let's see, that's two, just two points. Well, I could trade in two, three, four, five. Do we still have fives? Let me trade you and then I can get two. Thank you. Okay, so hot dog is done. Now let's concentrate on my meatballs for my last action. Meatballs are on the grill and I have to advance my grill three. So one, two, three. So now for this action, I'm gonna take the meatball off the grill, place it in my resting area, add a cube, And now that ends my turn for them. Okay, so unfortunately, um, I did not place my meatballs yet on the tablecloth. And since this is my last turn, I will not be able to score these potential points because I did not place my meatballs on the tablecloth. So these points do not count. And for my last turn, I'm gonna try to get this mackerel resting and then right on the table so I can score it. So currently the grill is at three. So before I do anything, one, two, three, advances the grill tracker. And then for my first turn, I'm gonna take it right off the grill. It goes right to resting. Now technically speaking, since it goes to resting, I always wanna put a tracking cube there. But since we know this is the last turn and we're not going to another turn, that actually won't end up mattering. But technically it's what you're supposed to do. So my, for my second action, I'll take the mackerel and I'll put it right here on the tablecloth. Now let's try to score that mackerel. So for this mackerel, it scores none on that top track, four on the grill track, and none on the resting track. So that's gonna be a total of four points for my mackerel. One, two, three, four points for the mackerel. And they go right there. And that should end my turn. Okay, now the game is over and we're gonna count up all of our points. Okay, I have seven points. I had 15 points. And I got 17 points, so if I'm not much mistaken, I think that I'm the winner because I have the most points, which means I'm the grill master. And that's the game. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comments. But otherwise, we hope you had a good time. We hope you see what a great game it is. And we'll see you later.